Hi, Mart here, and today I want to show you how to easily pick colors for your painting in Krina. With using Gamut Mask, you know, to restrict yourself, to limit yourself in terms of what colors you can use, which is a well-known problem in digital art, that the sure amount of colors that you have the access to right away can sometimes lead to muddy colors or, you know, like whole problem with saturation and everything. So it's really good practice to just limit yourself with what you can use, you know, what colors you can use, you know, to limit your palette. That's when the gamut mask comes in. You want to know more about gamut masks and stuff like that about, you know, color spaces and things, just check out the book from James Gurney, Color and Light. It's really great. James Gurney is really amazing and explaining things and then like showing you how things are done. It's like um, very well done. It's one of the best books. I think every artist should have that book at their disposal if possible or at least, you know, read through it once in their lives because it's like mind-blowing, okay? Let's go back to our gamut mask in Krita because ever since the version 4.2, Krita added the gamut mask docker which can really help starting artists, even intermediate or professional artists to pick their colors because, you know, Sometimes it can be kind of overwhelming or, you know, you're out of inspiration or you don't know what to do today or whatever the case might be, it can really help you. So how do we add and use the gamut mask? First thing you have to do is also, of course, open Krita. <laughs> then you have to go to settings, dockers and find gamut mask over here. Click on it and this new docker will show up with these weird, like, circles with some highlighted areas it's, it looks weird right but we're gonna need one more thing to use it properly and for that we have to go to settings again dockers again and now artistic color selector that should show up somewhere you know we have to, sometimes you have to find it but it should show up there it will give you this weird color wheel with just like these uniform like sectors you know these partitions and you can select and it will like select a color but where's the gamut mask right for that you just have to select whatever gamut mask you want for example split co complementary colors so now it will just uh, highlight only the split complementary colors to the color you want to right uh, of course you can rotate the mask to select some different colors because you have your main colors and then you have your split complementary colors. So uh, you find, you know, you rotate it to the place where the, your main color is, whatever, it can, it can be like a turquoise color. And now you have your orange and your pink as a split complementary colors. On the left side, you can change the value of those colors. And, you know, then you can just select. Uh, this will not uh, prevent you from selecting any other color you can still do it, but you can't see them, right? So it's like, you know, only highlight, you know, just a guide to help you with selecting those colors. So for example, I want to use turquoise as my main color, then I have these two split set, split complementary colors that I should choose from, right? And this will be my whole palette. I will not use any other color. And if you stick with that, your painting in 99% of the time will look good. If you don't know your values, of course. So first thing, learn your values, then you can move to colors. That's kind of basic how to learn painting but yeah I'm assuming that you know your values then you can go with gamut masks to help yourself be better at coloring or picking colors because first thing you have to know your main color which what's your main color gonna be for example if I want to do like some skin tones I would probably pick something like orangey to pinkish right around those colors so now I have this color selected and split complementary colors for that are these, so I can use that. You don't have to use just split complementary color colors, you can use complementary colors, for example, or just, you know, any other gamut mask, or you can paint your own. Pretty much what you have to do is just click on the plus, and now you can paint whatever shape you want here, whatever, I don't know, I, for example, I want like this, just this from that and that will be like my new <laughs> new mask and you can just save it as a new mask and it looks weird right but 
<laughs> now you can select those colors. I don't know enough about the color gamut masks to create my own, but those six are just plenty for majority of paintings, so you should be fine with those. As you can see, it's uh, you don't have really much of a choice when it comes to picking what like shade of the color you want to or value of the color you want to. You can change that by clicking on this little button here. And you can just select like I don't know. This is the value you can want. You want to split in more if you, if you want to, you can split it in more like thirty. And now you have like a lot of more options in there. You can be more more subtle with that. You can also split the wheel into more shades. You can split the into more hues or into more saturation levels. You know, and you can go with that. But if you go with the default, it will limit you enough so you don't mess it up. Let's say this way. Because uh, the less options you have, the less space for the error is there. At least from the beginning, the better. Because you can now just work with some better limited palettes so you don't make mistakes that often. Because more colors you have, more ways to choose color you have, more chaotic it will get. So yeah. Because in traditional art, right, you have just a couple paints and you, you can mix them, right? But you still have that limited starting palette of, you know, couple basic colors and you start painting with those, right? You don't have like millions of colors. You just have, you know, a couple of colors you bought, you know, a couple of paints you bought and you're working with that. The same way the gamut mask will help with that. You will just have a couple of colors and you have to work with that. So yeah, that's how the gamut mask work. And how to apply it, it's pretty much easy. You just find yourself your color that you want to use. For me, you know, for the face, I would say. I need some, you know, pinkish, orangey for my main color. And then I will use these two, because why not? I can limit myself to that. And, you know, you can just start painting and see where it will take you so that's it for today's video i hope that it will help you with picking colors for your painting and enjoy the rest of the video of me painting there like a paint paint and with this i hope i'll see you in the next one mars out
So that was my video, if you liked it, you can leave a like, if you didn't, leave a dislike, or even better, tell me in the comments what should I improve to make it better, I guess. You can also subscribe to my account and also hit the bell icon so you can see when I'm live and when I'm streaming and when I'm uploading new videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one.